we're going to start our game by <coughs> setting up our double under position. So we're going to do it off a of guard pull. Kieran goes to set up his guard pull. As he's pulling, I'm breaking a step back. And I get super low. From this point, it's like going into like a, a, a double leg. I shoot, I hit my hips against his leg. I'm going to stack him forwards. I step my knees in and I drop, getting his hips over his head. Making sure these are like uh, tight and pulling him back and my knees are in the center of his body. Okay, so this is the first part of the drill. You want to do it, you'll see like as Kieran drops, his like hips kind of lift up a little bit. That's the time that I need to get underneath his legs. Okay, so again, one more time, we're here. As he goes to pull, I wait till he starts to pull and shoot and hit him here. Driving forwards, my knees go into the center of his back. I drop him through and I just stabilize him. That's the whole first part of the drill. Okay. Really, really simple. Most of you have been working this in the kind of fundamentals classes as well. So you should have a relatively good idea how to start stacking. Alright, we're going to be hearing. Get out of brain. I shoot in. I shoot in. I get my knees in. I squat to this position. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to force Kieran to turtle. Like Kieran's only going to turtle when I'm ready, ready for him to go. If he tries to back roll when I'm not ready, I just kind of pull, use my arms to keep him stacked. When I'm ready to go, I'm going to push and I start to kind of drop his hips to the side that I want. From there, as he's kind of rolling into his turtle position, I keep this one arm tight to slow his curl down. My other hand comes over the top, and now I lean, catching the seat belt here. Yeah, now I'm leaning kind of real heavy. I'm leaning like pretty heavy on the side, and I'm kind of keeping this pull back to make it really, really uncomfortable. This leg can be like driving in, and I'm trying to make his life miserable, okay? From there, I switch my weight in towards his neck, my knee drives into this gap here. Okay, I lean a little bit more to expose his heel. I stamp my foot to the ground, and then I drag it back. As he's going over, I shoot my leg through and up, adjust my hips out, and then take it back from there. <coughs> so we're here, I pull and break, I shoot in, stacking in forwards. Go to here, get his legs up nice and high. Now I decide which way I want him to go, so I roll. I keep this elbow tight to his side as I switch. Okay. Arm comes underneath the neck, and I'm here. Okay. My knee is going to drop in to this position. Spin around. So I'm here. I drive my knee in between his elbow and his thigh. Step over. I pull. Kick it through. It comes up. And then I adjust my hips and bring it up from there. Okay. <coughs> Make sense, guys? Yeah, so we've been working it all week. It should be pretty good. But basically, I'm forcing Kieran into like a forward roll position. I'm pulling his leg this direction. Okay. Someone's probably going to ask, what do we do if they're like really tight in this elbow to knee position here? Okay, I got to set my seatbelt. I just drive it in. Okay. Like force it through that gap. You know, be a bit more violent. It's my knee against his ribs. I should win. Okay. You're going to do exactly the same thing again. We're here. Okay, I pull, I strip that grip, I shoot in, I stack his hips up, I get to this position. Like, I really want to make sure that his legs go light. That's what I'm looking for. From here, I'm going to like dive roll to his back. So I sit my chest on his hips to keep him up here and switch my hands around his waist. Okay, so I'm going from this position to this position. Like, I lock these in as much as I can. I'm locking my hands together. Now, all I do is I'm going to look the way that my leg isn't, I'm gonna like do a big dive roll, punch my arms down and catch him with my leg. Throw him up over the top. I can sit up and take the back from there. Okay, it looks super fancy. It's just a forward roll and at the same time, I'm punching, I'm trying to get my elbows to go together as my legs come up. I'm gonna use that extra momentum to push him down. Okay, so we're here, he pull, I strip and break, I shoot in, stack him up. Okay, and I get to this position. Okay, now I keep my chest in place, pull up my hands, and then when I go, I'm gonna dive roll, looking this direction, throw him down, bring my legs over the top, and then lock into the seat belt. Okay? You have to do it quickly. If you do it slowly, you're not gonna get the momentum. And you have to use your arms. Your arms are going from here, in between your legs as your legs come up. Sometimes we're here. Break, it goes down, shoot through, and stack. Get into this position. My chest connects, arms go through, now I dive roll, I'll catch with the legs and lock in. Okay, it needs to be explosive, otherwise you're gonna end up in a weird position, which we'll talk about in a second. Make sense, guys? Any questions? Make sure you look away. And it's just a forward roll. Fancy forward roll mostly. 
That's right. Keep trying to do that, um, that roll and catch in the back. But if it goes wrong, which it sometimes does because the person kind of moves. So if we go here, say I break this, I go to here, I start driving him up, I stack into this position, and then when I roll, he kind of like ends up on top of me in this position. Okay, or in some variation of this way. Okay, if you end up here, but I by no means do I want you to end up here. I want you to do this. You're gonna take this leg. Okay, so this is my left leg because my head's on my on uh, Kieran's left side. It's gonna come all the way to the far side, and I hook. Now I'm going to pull my other leg underneath me and start driving up into like a leg drag. I stack my head down as back here. And I'm really pulling this hip up as much as I can. It should be super uncomfortable for your partner, isn't it, Kieran? Yeah. Okay, I'm like pulling and talking this around. From there, my arms are now going to start sliding around his neck. I sit my leg over, stack my heel through, and go to the, uh, to the chair sit to take the back. Okay, so from here, I break, I shoot through, then I stack here and up, I try to do my dive roll, and end up kind of here like this. Okay, really bad position, or maybe it's like even further, it doesn't really make too much difference. I take the leg, it's on the same side as my head, across to the far side, I pull my other leg underneath me, and now I start driving in. Uh, I'm going to start sliding my arm around the neck, my knee shoots up, other leg comes over with the heel, chest it. Okay, I'm going to stand the other leg down. I'm going to try to stand this position. <laughs> so we're like this. Here I'm here. The leg comes across, face out and pull, drive it. Okay, I'm looking down towards the ground, arms around the neck, shoot up, take the back. Make sense, guys? But. Sorry, can you, you can't crab right now. Too far up. I could, but he's kind of in the wrong position. He's my, like my head's too far out to the wrong side. Your head so, needs to be down a bit. Yeah, I need to, like for the crab ride to be effective, I need to be like here, right? But I'm not, I'm like in this no man's land of being here. So it's a, it's a little bit different. I can't really come up, I can't get up to his back. Kind of not really in either one. Okay, so the leg drag's a great way to start bailing out. You can start using it to come up. Okay, it's really, really simple. I'm just here, I go across, okay, base out, I just start driving in. I shoot, and then I'm in chair sitting from there. Okay, you want that the whole time, it should be very uncomfortable, with, like, particularly when you're stacking them and pulling them up from there. Okay, guys? Cool, let's try it.